Hello and welcome to Lost Love Chronicles. Fool me once, you are clever. Fool me second time, I am an idiot. My name is Ron. I am a 36-year-old man and I was married to Kathy who was 32-year-old when we got divorced. We met in college while finishing our graduation. We did our classes together and spent a lot of time together. It was then that we realized how much we wanted to be together. Her smooth skin rubbing against mine was one hell of an experience. Her body responded to mine and our rhythm was amazing. A lot of people were jealous of us being together, and even though everyone knew that we were dating, guys still tried their luck with her. They gave her gifts and it used to make my blood boil. She used to enjoy the attention and I always had an issue with that. We finished our graduation and moved in together. We got our jobs at different offices. She got a job at an advertisement company and I got at a shoe manufacturing company. We did not plan to get married soon as we never felt that it was necessary. We went on with our lives. Everything was fine between us. No kids to cater to. Our parents were well off and good on their own. We just had to get to a decent position in our lives. We gave a lot of time to our careers and over the next three years we kept moving up the ladder and slowly moved away from each other. It was after four years that Kathy came up and dropped a bombshell. I've been thinking a lot about us, and I believe it's time for a change. What do you mean? I think we should take a break from each other, just for a while. I need to explore life, you know? After four years in the corporate world, I'm feeling a bit tired. A break? Why? I want to take some time off, travel, see new places. It's for my mental peace. I need to be alone for a bit and find myself. But we've been together for so long. Why now? It's not about us. It's about me. I need this break to recharge and figure things out. I hope you understand. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Can't we work through it together? I need to do this on my own. It's not about our relationship. It's about me finding my path. I hope you'll support me in this. I don't know if I can. Think about it. It's important for both of us in the long run. You are leaving me and talking about a long run. I need to do this on my own. Watching too many feminist movies about finding your own self can be injurious to your mental health. I could not make head or tail about what she is talking about. However, I knew that she had made up her mind and she is a headstrong woman, will not budge. I did not want to argue as I knew it was a losing battle. I agreed and she left. It was that simple. For the next two years, I did not bother getting into any relationship or in any distraction as such. Kathy and I did talk occasionally. By the way, I never called her on my own. In the last two years, she called me five times. Every time she called, it was a different city and a different country. I never expected her to come back to me. It was a Sunday morning. I heard my doorbell ring. I opened the door and Kathy was there with her bags. I had no clue what is going on. She hugged me and kissed me on my lips and announced I am back. I did not know how to react and did not understand why is she back. I was still wearing the puzzled look on my face when she stated that she wants to marry me. She has been around the world and knows that her place is beside me. I was still puzzled. So, you think that after two long years, you can just walk in and enter my life just like that? Yes, because I know you love me and you have missed me like hell. I did love you, but you left everything and I am not sure if I still love you. Is there another woman? She asked. No, I am still single. Then it's final. We will get married and if you have any objections, tell me now. Else hold your silence till I am alive. I need time to process this. I'll be in my room. Just like that she walked in my house and in my bedroom. That night I slept in the guest room. At night she did try to get it on with me but I refused. I told her I needed time for this. She went back in the bedroom. The next morning, I came back from the gym and she was waiting for me. She had cooked the breakfast just like I used to like it. I told her that I do not eat that anymore and made my breakfast myself. Eating healthy? She asked. You look great. I have been working out. I left for my office and later that evening, I met Dusty, my childhood friend. Explained the situation. I told him that I am torn between my heart and my mind. My heart wants her back and my head tells me to dump her back on the street. He joked and stated, What does the little friend between your legs want? I shrugged it off and sipped my beer. He then suggested that if I want to follow my heart and marry Kathy, draft a prenup agreement and ensure that whatever you have till the day you marry her is kept away from her. I did that same day. Well, Dusty did that for me. He is a lawyer. 
So that night I gave Kathy the prenup papers and told her to read it and decide by morning. That night I went back into the guest room. At around 12 a.m., she knocked my door, and when I opened the door, she handed the signed papers and came inside. We had wild sex that night. I asked her why did she come back. She stated that she went across the world and it felt empty without me. So she came back. I asked if she was dating other men. She stated that she was not. I asked her you sure about that. She said that she never found anyone interesting to date. Five days later, we got married in Vegas. A year passed on. Kathy took up another job in a smaller marketing firm. Our lives were going smooth and then one fine day, Kathy dropped a bomb. She stated that she wants to find herself and need to take a break. Where to this time? I asked. She said that she wants to go to Africa this time, do some social work, and she will be back soon. Okay. I nodded. That evening, I went and met Dusty. Our discussion was short and crisp. We finished our beer and shook hands, went back. Six months later, on a Sunday, Kathy rang the doorbell again. I opened the door with a smile. She put her bags down and I gave her a glass of water. She smiled and drank the water. She was about to go to the bedroom. I stopped her. She gave me a puzzled look. I think it's time for you to take the luggage to a different place. What do you mean? I am your wife. Where else I would go? She shot back. Oh yes, I forgot. About you being my wife. Here, this was for you. I handed her the envelope and told her, You have been served and you need to leave now. She screamed and threw the papers back at me. She stated we have a prenup. You cannot just divorce me just for going out for social work. I have a responsibility towards this world. I walked to my TV, switched it on, and played a video. Kathy was on her all fours with two local men and getting drilled. I raised the volume and the room was filled by her moans. I changed the video. Now she was riding a man and while giving oral service to another. Then I switched a different video from four years ago. She was in Spain, riding another man. She tried to snatch the remote from my hands, but could not. I told her that I have 67 more such videos. Through her sobbing, she asked, How did you get these? I told her you are my wife if I have access to your unsatisfied holes. I can access your phone and your laptop. I pay for them. Your fetish to film you getting screwed. Actually screwed you. Did you spy on me? Yes, sweetheart. I did. I have every right to know where my lawfully wedded wife is going, where is living, who she is fucking. As a husband, I have that right. She said that she can explain. I sat down, took out my purse. She said that she was feeling lonely and it was just sex. I put a dollar bill on the table. She then added she loves me and will stop going out and will never leave again. I placed another dollar on the table. I asked her, you done? She started crying and started rolling on the floor like a kid. Why do you think that you will go out and fuck any random Chad and Tyrone? Come back and give me explanations why you fucked them and I will take you back. Last time the person who walked out on me was my girlfriend, so I did not follow her. This time it was my wife who walked out. Do you even understand what is a wife? Do you even know what a husband is? It's not a doormat. It's a human with emotions. A wife walks out. She stays out. Now pick up your bag and go to any corner of the world and go fuck anyone. I don't care. For me, you're dead. I handed her the envelope and threw her bags out of the door. She was still crying. She tried to look at me again. Do you have no emotions for me? She whispered. Did you have any emotions for me when you were getting all your holes pumped? Your tears will have no effect on me. So unless Chad wants to wet his tools with it, it is useless. She walked out. Since we had a prenup in place and in court I proved that she was cheating on me, I did not have to pay any alimony or any money. I was a free man. Dusty took me out for a beer. We had a good time. I have decided never to get married, and if I have to get married, prenup is my first condition. Until next time. Dear listener, if you have reached this far please click on the subscribe button. It will be a great help.